Melanie from Melanie's Users here, where I mean things in the entertainment world that are entertaining to me, and sometimes a few weird and random other videos too, but hopefully whatever I'm using about, you guys stay along for the ride. Today I'm back with the Forgotten Feature Friday, which is a new segment for 2021, where I discuss films that I feel need a little extra love. Sometimes they are cult classics that were box office flops, but went on later to find love with a new audience. Sometimes they're just a little bit weird and obscure, and I don't think a lot of people have heard of them. And sometimes it's a movie that one of you guys has suggested and I'm like, oh my goodness, yes, we need to talk about that movie. Whatever movie I'm talking about, one thing can be guaranteed and that is that I love it and I think everybody else should watch it. If you've missed any of the previous movies that I talked about, you can check them out in the playlist up there. But now let's get to today's feature. Wait, just one more little thing before I get there. You may notice that my lipstick is a very interesting shade of blue today. Now quite often my appearance can be a clue as to the movie that we are going to be talking about today but in this case it isn't that. I'm wearing this blue lipstick because Jenny Lane sent me a lip sense and this lip sense is blue and it's called Midnight Muse you guys. She sent that because she's like hey with a name like Midnight Muse I felt you had to have it. So you know what Jenny I decided to wear it today and tone it in with the rest of my blue things. I hope you like how the look came out. If you guys want to check out any of the Lip Sense products, I'm going to put Jenny's link in the description for this video. Because hey, with a name like Midnight Muse, all the muses should get it, right? Right, okay, on to the movie. Today's movie is actually a fan suggestion. Huge thank you to Vicky Storch who messaged me to remind me of this classic. It is the 1995 movie Empire Records. Empire Records has a soft spot in my heart, partly because it is based in a record store. Back in the day, I actually worked in a record store, although it was one of the big corporate chains over in England, R Price. I don't even think they exist anymore. But yeah, that was my first job, working in R Price, selling records. I mean, Empire Records is a little independent business that is looking like it might have to sell out to one of these big corporation chains. I don't know what you have over here, like Virgin Records, Tower Records, all of those records, R Price, like the one I used to work for, or they kind of went away, but same deal. This movie is chock full of star performances. And yeah, it was an absolute box office flop. When I was trying to look up the numbers for this, it looks like it made less than $300,000. That is like nothing in the movie business, especially when you look at how many people were in this movie. And there's some early roles for a lot of big names, but I couldn't find out how much it cost to produce. I know it wasn't cheap. I'm pretty sure that it didn't even break even. But on the Wikipedia page it says 10 million and that seems ridiculously high for this movie, personally. If any of you guys happen to know this or can do better research than I did, I couldn't find it anywhere. That was the only price I could find and it doesn't really sound right to me. So regardless, it did not do well. It has gone on to find a little bit of cult success. I imagine everybody watching at some point will have seen a Rex Manning Day post. Rex Manning being the pop star that goes to visit the store, he goes to visit on April 8th, and April 8th has officially become Rex Manning Day. Well, maybe not officially, but it's generally accepted that it's Rex Manning Day. On April the 8th, every single year, the interwebs are flooded with gifts and pictures and memes and all other sorts of things announcing Rex Manning Day. And that hashtag trends pretty much every year. Like I said, there are a lot of stars making an appearance in this movie, although some of them probably weren't well known until further down the line. The cast includes Auntie LaPaglia, Maxwell Crawfield, Debbie Mazza, Rory Cochran, Johnny Whitworth, Robin Tanay, Renee Zellweger, Liv Tyler. I mean, one thing that everybody could agree on, this film was not short of star power. As you would expect with this sort of movie, it does have an absolutely killer soundtrack. In fact, one of the critic reviews said this was a soundtrack looking for a movie to live up to it. I think that's a little bit harsh. I personally love the movie, but as we all know, the movies that I love aren't necessarily movies that everybody else loves. However, you muses seem to be doing a great job of checking out what I'm suggesting, and you all seem to be liking them at least. So hopefully this is another one that will find a home in your little collection. As with a lot of teen movies, it does address some bigger issues that cropped up, and issues that are very relevant today with all of the sexual harassment stuff now being much more out in the open than it was back in the 90s, when it was still very much under the table, hush hush, don't tell. And that's why so many stories are coming out now, because people didn't feel that they could speak. This movie does a really good job of addressing it without shoving it down your throat. Which is always a plus. I mean, no one wants political views shoved down their throat while they're watching a movie about a record store. 
obviously there are a lot of references to big businesses coming in and destroying smaller independent businesses unfortunately that kind of culture hasn't got any better but it is still really nice to sit back and watch this and reminisce maybe more so for me because i used to work in a record store even though i was in england Maybe that's why it has a very special place in my heart. But to be fair, obviously I'm not the only one thinking about it because Vicky messaged the page to suggest it to me. And we didn't watch it that long ago because we introduced Emily to it. Well, I'd say not that long ago. It was probably a few years back. But hey, obviously it's still relevant to us. Even if maybe not to anybody else. I did do a check to see if it was streaming anywhere. It's streaming as a rentable option pretty much everywhere. But I didn't see anywhere that was airing it for free at the moment. But Keep checking, you never ever know. Or as I always say, you can always buy the DVD. Link to that as well in the description for the video. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this week. Huge thank you to everyone that stuck around to see what I was musing about. Always really appreciate that. Please be sure to do all the fun YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out the link in the description for the video for the trailer for this movie as well. And let me know what you think. Let me know in those comments if you've seen it. Is this one that was on your list? Obviously it was on Vicky's list because she suggested it. If you're looking at me and thinking you look like a fun person to hang out with, you would be right. And you should join me live every Sunday at noon Eastern time. I'm on Facebook with my husband, Greg. We have giveaways. We talk TV, movies, books, pretty much anything that comes up. We will talk about it. And all the fun people are there chatting with us in the comments. So if you're a fun person, even if you're not, you should still join us. Facebook, noon Eastern time, every Sunday. Hope to see you there. Also, make sure you're going to my website, melaniesmuses.com, for all the news music related. We have everything up there, more giveaways, all the vlogs, guest articles, feature articles, guest reviews, music reviews. We even have an article about food up there right now. So check back regularly, check back often, and if there's something that you want to see, let me know. I'm always happy to oblige if I can. But you know what? Even if you don't ask, who knows what's going to be up there next? These are being added almost every day, so if it's not there now, could be there next time you check. And finally, please make sure you click that notification bell so you never miss when I have a new video up. The only things you can count on in 2021 are Mail Pool Mondays, Forgotten Feature Fridays, Zoom interviews on Wednesday when I have them available, other weird and random videos as they pop into my head, when I think of them, when I feel like I've got something to say, or by request. So if you have something you want to see, let me know. I'm always happy to oblige if I can. And with that, I hope to see you next time. Bye!